Wow. Welcome. I am Cynthia Lane, superintendent of the Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools. I am thrilled to welcome you to this beautiful auditorium in historic Wyandotte High School. And I am also excited to welcome the world audience who is watching us right now on the web. You know, I am very proud to be superintendent of a school district who cares deeply about its children. I have the privilege every day of working with more than 3,500 dedicated staff in service to 20,000 students. Today, as every day, we are working hard to move our district to be one of the best districts in the nation. You are about to hear of an exciting opportunity, one of a kind, that will help propel the district to great success and will impact every child and every citizen of our community. I am thrilled to be part of this today and thank you for coming and would like to introduce to you the Chief Financial Officer for Google, Mr. Patrick, um, excuse me, Patrick, Mr. Patrick Bissett. Patrick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here. Here so we can take a picture. My mic is working? Great. Always testing. Good morning, everybody. My name is Patrick Pichette. My day job, Chief Financial Officer for Google. I also have a little side job, which at the executive committee, they gave me this crazy project a few years ago, which was to lead a ultra high speed internet access project. And I'm also the representative for the executive committee on that project. First and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Reardon, Governor Brumbach, for joining us today. I want to make a special thanks for Superintendent Lane. And we have Principal Thompson in the audience or somewhere. So, and uh, and th thanking them for allowing us to host this event today here. Um, today is a really, really exciting day. It's exciting because in good Google fashion, what we're announcing is the launch of something completely different. What is it? Well, last year we announced a project where we wanted to wire up a community to show the world that it is possible to give ultra high speed access 100 times more than is available on average in some community in the US. Well, I can tell you, the feedback was absolutely astounding. Over 1,100 cities showed up, raised their hand, and said, I'm ready for this. And over 200,000 citizens and community groups also showed up and said, I'm ready for this. The so what of all this is, clearly, America has voted. They want higher speed, faster speed. They want the next generation web today. So, now we're in Kansas today. <laughs> so guess what brings me here? After an incredible careful evaluation, Kansas is our first city. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm bringing here the spirit of the web, the spirit of innovation. Right? Speed matters. 
Speed matters immensely. We were having a conversation backstage just before. If you're on the net, if you have high speed, slow speed, if you have access to the internet, speed is like oxygen, right? Oxygen you take for granted until you don't have it. And once you don't have it, it's everything. And you know it when you, leave on, you live on the web. Now, 20 years ago, the net was invented. And by the way, it was invented here in America. And amazingly, 20 years later, America is now behind many countries in terms of accessibility and access to high speed. And that's why this project is so crucial. We're going to actually experiment to make sure that we find solutions to make it accessible for everybody. And not only that, but if you think about it, in about 1995, 15 years ago roughly, everybody was living on 56 kilobits. I mean, the younger the students here won't remember that, but the parents will. And it was awful. And then somebody invented a 5 meg and a 1 meg modem. And then at the time, people were saying, what are you going to do with 5 megs? You'll never use it. You'll all remember this, right? Today, if you have 5, you kind of feel constrained. And yet, in 5 megs, you have video conferencing. You have download, and you can watch YouTube. You can do so many things. You can think of the search that you live today at Google. You just type, and you get instant results blazingly fast again. And that's only with a few megs. Think what you're going to do with a gigabit, 1,000 megabits. And that's the project that we're undertaking here today. What we want to do is it presents massive opportunities for the community, but also for innovation. So some of the things that will be enabled, we don't know yet. But what about a great way to start right here today? So to give you more details about this, let me introduce you a legend in the technology world, but also the leader of this initiative for us at Google, Milo Medin. I'm still alive. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Uh, I mentioned to him that I, I hate being called a legend because I'm still alive. I like to think my greatest work is yet to come. Uh, we are really excited to be here today in Kansas City, Kansas. Patrick talked about all the communities who uh, raised their hand and said, come to our community. Come deliver a different kind of internet. An internet that is way faster than anything you can get. And come to our community. So why did we come? To Kansas City. Why did we pick Kansas City to be the first of a set of builds? Well, we had three things in mind. One, we wanted to find a location where we could build quickly and efficiently. Kansas City has great infrastructure, and, a, and Kansas is a, has a great business-friendly environment for us to uh, deploy a service in. You know, the utility here has all kinds of conduit in it that avoids us uh, having to tear the streets open and a bunch of other things that really differentiates it from many other places in the, in the country. Second, we want to uh, build where we can make a real impact on the community. We believe gigabit broadband can be leveraged for economic development and educational gain, both of which are vital in the global economy that we live in today. And third, we wanted to be able to develop strong relationships and partnerships with local government and community so that we could work together to use technology in a new way to make a city a better place to live in, a better place to work in, a better place to learn in. And, uh, and we found all of this here in Kansas City, Kansas. Mayor Reardon uh, and the city leadership here and the utility have moved with efficiency, creativity, and really operated at Google speed <laughs> uh, in order to help craft this a, a real partnership. Uh, moving at Google speed is not usually possible for the average city, but then everybody in this room knows that Kansas City, Kansas is not the average city. And all 
all that is why Kansas City, Kansas will be the first market that we will deploy this ultra high fast service, this ultra high speed service, a thousand megabits, a service that will be uh, to the broadband of today, what broadband 15 years ago when we first rolled it out was to dial up. That is what we are gonna bring to Kansas City, Kansas. The entire country is gonna be watching what happens here. And we hope to bring this same service to other nearby cities and other markets too. To the other cities that applied and were not selected for our first build, I want to say that this is really the beginning and not the end. But we are starting here in Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City has made it clear that they want to be a model to show the world how a community can benefit from gigabit speed connectivity. It's a real honor for us at Google to come here. Uh, you all have been so kind in welcoming us, in making us feel like uh, we're part of your community. Uh, and we will work hard to deliver a service that will delight you and empower you to lead the nation forward in broadband. The key to that future will be working with leaders here in the community, and so we put together a short video to highlight some of these partners. Uh, so go, let's go ahead and roll the video. Data speed is like oxygen, right? Oxygen you take for granted until it disappears. And then it becomes like everything, right? <laughs> and data is the same thing, right? Everything running fine is fine. And then when you don't have data, when you buffer, you go, what? Sucky. I don't know if you can say sucky on camera, but anyway, <laughs> like very sucky. Lack of bandwidth, the idea that, you know, there's not enough access today, I think is evidenced in all kinds of places. I, I, have, I have all kinds of personal experiences where the internet and the speed of the internet's been incredibly frustrating. The average high schooler has text 1,200 times from the time they get out of bed to when they hit school at 7.30 in the morning. And so their world is fast, 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 but when they get to the school, we slow way down. Processor speed, power consumption, networking that we deploy within a data center, it has gotten just incredibly faster by an order of magnitude every few years. The communications network is the thing that's falling behind in the speed of innovation. What we're trying to do with this effort is to take people from a megabit web to the gigabit web. Today, everybody's used to three, four, five, six, ten, twenty 10, 20 megabits, right? So gigabit is like a thousand times bigger. One of our goals is to actually deliver that kind of connectivity uh, to, uh, to ordinary people. That's why we're rolling out communities, uh, starting with Kansas City, that are going to give one gigabit of access to every home. It is gonna probably be the most buzzed event in the history of Kansas City on the day it is announced. And that, um, that is pretty awesome. Like, that's pretty amazing. In Kansas City, Kansas, we were absolutely blown away by the leadership the mayor, the city staff, um, the utility as well. Next step, infrastructure. Nerd out the stadium. Immediacy, and, and you weren't constantly reminded, uh, you know, that your physician really is, you know, hundreds of miles away. Parent conferences don't have to be just in the schoolhouse door. I don't know if Google Fiber has actually gotten to the point where you can send smells over fiber, but I think it's something y'all should start thinking about because that would certainly sell more barbecue. When we make a commitment, um, to that new idea or initiative. We don't know where it may lead, but we know potentials there for it to go to great places. But I think what it is is like a huge bet on human creativity. You just know something special is gonna come out of it. Think of education, think of entertainment, think of e-commerce, think of attracting developers, and not only that, but it just drives the economy around you. So for Kansas City, it's fantastic. It is a privilege for us to deploy this high-speed network together with the hardworking people of Kansas City. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Mayor Joe Reardon. Mayor Reardon's leadership has been essential in bringing this project to Kansas City. <laughs> Mayor, thank, thank you very much. This is great. No, we're great to Thanks. Wow, I think it's impossible to follow that video. There's just no doubt about it. I want to thank all of you for being here today. Patrick, I have to say when you were talking, um, I have to tell a quick story. Last night, 
uh, my 11-year-old son, Jack, I brought him in the room, and he said, well, what's going on? And I told him about our announcement today, and I said, you can't tell anyone till noon um, what's going on, but um, he hugged me. Uh, he's a PS3 gamer, and uh, he said, you mean it's not going to freeze up on me anymore? He said, Dad, you've got to get that done tomorrow. I said, well, the commission's going to be voting too. And he said, well, let's call them up and make sure that they all get to the meeting. So we're on the right path. It's going to be kids like Jack that really realize the full potential of what we're talking about and going to do going forward. March 30th, 2011 is a momentous day for Kansas City, Kansas and our entire region. We are entering into a transformative partnership that will allow Kansas City, Kansas to deploy a next generation fiber optic system throughout our community, one that will benefit both our residents and our businesses. We in the Midwest understand the importance of infrastructure in building cities. Our region has benefited greatly from the rail infrastructure that was laid here and the westward expansion that forever ensured our destiny as a crossroads, a region tied to access and connectivity. The infrastructure of tomorrow is likewise tied to access and connectivity. Technology leads to opportunity and new frontiers. And in this age, it's essential that we build a robust connection to information and ideas on the World Wide Web so that our connections today can span the globe while at the same time benefiting us locally. So today, we are proud to announce our partnership with Google to create those robust connections with a one gig fiber backbone straight through to businesses and homes. An exciting partnership that will help Kansas City, Kansas realize the full potential of the new economy in a world that is becoming more connected every day. The selection of Kansas City, Kansas as the site for Google Fiber speaks to our community's commitment to be enterprising and is the latest example of what we can accomplish when we work together. Google Fiber joins a long list of important milestones and accomplishments in our community, including the development of Kansas Speedway, Village West, the Hollywood Casino, the new Livestrong Sporting Park, and our growing partnership with Cerner Corporation. As a result, we are achieving national rankings in job growth during this challenging economy. The wonderful diversity of our community, neighborhoods, and industry make Kansas City, Kansas a microcosm for the rest of the country. When you combine those assets with our well-established track record of development partnerships, we feel Kansas City, Kansas is the perfect location for Google to launch its fiber project. This successful initiative is the result of strong partnerships with our public utility, our business community, and our school districts. I'm excited today to announce that in partnership with Google, our students will benefit from this new opportunity as free high-speed access will be provided at schools throughout the city. <laughs> Allowing our students to use this ultra-high-speed network to fully realize their potential in a global economy. Our government, too, will benefit by receiving free broadband access at key facilities allowing us to strengthen public safety and services to our citizens. In addition, the deployment of high-speed broadband internet access into our neighborhoods will undoubtedly further advance the academic vision and goals of our local schools, universities, and learning consortiums. While Google Fiber may be launching in Kansas City, Kansas, I know for an opportunity like this to truly be successful, it must expand beyond a single community. It is my hope that cities throughout our region will become part of this initiative. It is this regional focus and opportunity that will provide lasting benefit to all of our citizens as we compete around the globe. Today's announcement will further our regional growth efforts in life sciences, technology, manufacturing, and entrepreneurialism. Finally, I want to thank all those that have worked so hard to make this project a reality. It's been a long process, but one that will lead to significant benefit. This truly was a team effort, and we worked seamlessly with the Board of Public Utilities staff to make it successful. Our negotiating team has been fantastic, and I appreciate all of their dedication 
to this project. To the Google team, thank you for your partnership. Milo, Kevin, Chris, and Joe, and everyone on the Google team, we have developed a strong relationship that I know will carry us to success as we deploy this new technology right here in Kansas City, Kansas. It's time to go to work. We now begin a community dialogue about the details of this project and its benefits to our citizens. We will be working in partnership with Google to implement this technology. I am proud that Kansas City, Kansas will be part of this effort to bring next generation high speed broadband to cities throughout the United States. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Reardon. Now I'd like to introduce Governor Sam Brownback. <laughs> Governor, it's great to see you again. Thanks, Thanks for coming. So Very good. Right. Wouldn't miss it, Dr. Lane. Thank you. Peter, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, uh, I heard Milo uh, ask the question, uh, why Kansas City? Uh, he was asking that, and I was thinking right to myself, because everything's up to date in Kansas City. That's why we do it here, and it is here. Dr. Lane, great job here hosting. Peter, welcome to Kansas. Milo, Mayor Reardon, always does a great job. As governor of this state, I'm declaring today Google Day in Kansas. This is a big one. I want to congratulate the Kansas City, Kansas community on its selection as the first, first Google Fiber community. It's a wonderful economic growth opportunity. It's a wonderful opportunity for this community and for the state. Expanding access to broadband is one of our goals of our administration, but it's one of the goals of America to create a situation, create an environment where creativity and productivity can grow. Uh, and you can, you, backstage, we were just talking ahead of time about, well, what does this mean? And everybody looks around, kind of, I am not exactly sure. But I can imagine things. Cindy Cash talks about bringing smells over the internet. I don't know about that one. Uh, <laughs> we can try. Uh, but I was looking at Roy Jensen out here with the Cancer Center at KU and thinking what you can do about bringing fiber to the home and then being able to bring that health care service right there in real time for a person that may be in, a, in a, a difficult situation but now doesn't have to go to the hospital to be monitored. They can stay at home. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing to be able to do? And wouldn't that drive our health care costs down? Or what about real-time, high-definition video conferencing? So everybody has to clean up to video conference. Uh, you know, it, but you could do that with it. Uh, what are the other possibilities that are there? And the idea that I see here more than anything is you put a brand new tool out there and you say, come play with it. Come figure out what it is that we can do on the next wave of generation of ideas, of economic growth opportunities, of health care opportunities, of educational opportunities. And you lay it out there and you just say, come and get it. Go figure it out. Uh, and that sort of entrepreneurial atmosphere really fits us. The place was settled originally off of the uh, Homestead Act, where we said, OK, we got a lot of land out here. It's open. You come out and settle it for five years. It's yours. This creates opportunity of an incredible nature. We are delighted to have it here. We are delighted that Google has chosen this as the first place. We're looking forward to their expansion in the region. Uh, and they were talking about expanding from this network on out. We welcome you to other communities across the state of Kansas. Uh, but today, it's a great day. And everything is up to date in Kansas City. God bless you all. Hey, guys here. Thank you. Thank you again, Governor Brownback, and thanks again to everyone here uh, for being part of our announcement today. Now, you may be wondering, when can I get this service? Um, we're not exactly sure until we get the uh, engineering planning done. Uh, but we hope to, uh, we're an AMPLANT offer service beginning in early 2012. We're thrilled to be welcomed in to be part of your community. And we hope to be as good a neighbor to you as you have 
uh, been to us. To learn more, um, pull up, go to this URL and uh, uh, be able to interact, and, uh, and that's the place you'll, you'll find the, the latest up-to-date information. Now, we would like to invite everyone here to come outside and join us for some good local barbecue. Uh, and on behalf of Google, again, thank you for welcoming us. Thank you, and uh, we look forward to inventing the future together.